So I want to describe something to you right now as far as a common problem that will arise when you're trying to mix and match configuration, especially when we're talking about microservices, but it's not just constrained to microservices. However, let's assume you actually have a microservice A or a client that you're trying to deploy and you have three versions of this client that you need to deploy. And, and here's why. So originally you had version 1.0 and with 1.0, that was the initial release. And that was tied to in our spring cloud config server configuration version, like a tag 1.0. And let's say now you have a new version of this service and this new service, we'll call it version 2.0. So with 2.0, you deploy and you have a new set of configuration that is still going to this new configuration, which is 2.0. But let's go back one real quick. But let's say that people are still dependent on the 1.0 version of your service. So you can't pull it out of service because people are not ready to upgrade to version 2.0 yet. So you still need to be able to deploy that same app against the original set of configuration. And then something might get a little bit more complex when you realize that something happened and now you have to make a hot fix for maybe some high priority defect for one of your vendors. Uh, or one of the, any, somebody who's with an API using a specific version and it doesn't affect everybody, but you now need even a third version of this microservice out there and it needs to go to a hotfix configuration. Again, different than version two and also different than version one. So the difficulty is, well, how exactly do we change presumably dynamically, the label or branch, as we remember, right? A, a label can be a branch or a tag. How can we somewhat dynamically specify that in the client application without hard coding it? And so far we've looked at configuration. So let's look at a cool little trick that you can do to make the label of your clients a little more dynamic. So in our client application, the first thing we want to do is in our bootstrap.yml, instead of hard coding a label, let's use a nice little replacement here. Now let's actually, let's read through this. I'll tell you what's actually happening with this. So what's happening is we are going to try to pull a property now out of the um, out of the priority in which it will come from, we would hope to get this from a system property and let's just call it client underscore config underscore label. Now the colon allows us to put a default value in the event that this property is not available, but it's going to be because we're going to set it. Well, we can set it one of two places. Now, when we're running in an IDE, we need to manually set this and we can do this in the run configuration, either in IntelliJ or Eclipse. Now, if I edit this and notice, look, if I want to go and set an environment variable, let us set again, config or client underscore config underscore label, and let's set it to the label we actually want. Now, remember we set a, a tag previously that was 4.0. And now what can happen by setting this either here or actually on a given machine or a VM, then this boot application will pick up this property, hit okay. And by picking up the property, we now are going to set a proper tag. Now notice the default was 2.0, which is not what we have. So let's restart the app 
And then let's go verify what configuration is being pulled now that we had set an environment variable to version 4.0. Now, before we verify this, let's just go back to the master branch. We're going to double click the master branch. Now, master's checked out and we are at tag 4.0. Now, we're not going to make any changes, but what we would like to do Let's go verify what is in our microservices-client-dev.yml. Now here I have opened up microservices-client-dev.yml and I didn't make any changes, but what's currently on the master branch that we have checked out is the name of version 2.1. Now, going back to our REST client, let's try to refresh the service endpoint again. We've refreshed it. Now, let's actually look, and as we see, dynamically, we now have pulled out the configuration that was for the label 4.0. As indicated here, we were able to pull up a dynamic label just by setting an environment property instead of hard coding it into the source. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you like that, please subscribe to my channel and see all the latest videos that I have coming out. Thanks a lot. I'm a computer. I love my user.